you know who I am, Bill T. Jones. I hope all of my dancers have introduced themselves. I thought that the question of Lincoln was very much a question of being a part of a society and that every American must have the DNA of that man that we call the greatest president that ever lived. So I wanted to know what that looks like, uh, democracy moving. Your community was kind enough to have a go at it. I once thought that a piece at Ravinia might have people from the community walk through the performance, average people. For instance, a single mother on the south side of Chicago speaking the second inaugural address. And I feel that then we would have taken the lofty great man from Mount Rushmore and literally he would be coming through the most humble but worthy vessel. I don't believe I want to go in that direction with the Ravinia piece. So separate that community component into a work of its own. Usually the way we work is uh, we're in there with uh, the dancers for anywhere between six weeks to like a year. And we exchange ideas, have this ebb and flow. And that's exactly what we're going to do here, except we only have two days to do it. Tune, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't Yeah, Part tuning. Four. Forgot about that. One. And you're looking up at your left hand. Your palm is facing inwards. So not facing out, but facing your right. And two. And three. I'm trying to keep it simple. Four. <gasps> and we'll decide as we go along how much we can throw on them. Boom! 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 Yeah, right, right, right. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Everybody has a word or a statement. Could you make a shape with the sense of that word? Increased. Devotion. To the cause. For which they gave. The last. Measure of devotion. That from peace, honor. Who is here? Come one, come all. And then they do come. You don't stop. You don't stop. Right? And you find, oh my goodness, it's a very fragile person. They can barely walk. To go. Oh. Right. She comes down and... Okay, good, good, good. Let's rest. Let's rest. Hello? Please, please, we're performing this tomorrow. Don't chat. Listen. One, two, and one, two, and one, two, one, two. Dancers are so used to this disciplined form. Sometimes we get less out of it than, you know, Doris, who is 67, who is in my group, and she's really bringing herself to it on a deeper level than the dancers who can just spit it out. You know, she had such intent and she really meant it, but that wasn't the shape. And I didn't want to take that away from her and say, no, that's not it. So I said, you know, make a basket. And, and it, she was perfect. This experience is, has just heightened my sensitivity and I just love being part of it. My name is Doris. In 1863, Paul was so excited about his emancipation, his freedom. He could not wait to enlist. Paul Dion, the soldier, was my great grandfather. When I heard Bill talk about the woman whose grandfather had fought for the Union, it immediately came to me that I needed to let him know he gave me a hug and said, let's break, let's figure out how to work this in. It all worked out this morning about 11 o'clock. <laughs> so it was boom. My name is Jim. In 1861, a group of plotters planned to assassinate Lincoln. At the head of this failed conspiracy was a man 
whose name I bear today, Cipriano Ferrandini, my great, great grandfather. why I stopped working in communities and I wanted to hone what a small group of people did. But when you do hit it right and you get a social discourse going, it can be quite powerful. Because it was more abstract, it was more touching. So when it was over, I felt like this emotional surge that I didn't expect. Pretty intense, especially considering that it was all created in the last couple of days. It went far quicker than I thought it would. We're both. 